Greetings everyone, my name is Brian Abbey, and this is a segment we call Dear Abbey. I'd like to start just by thanking my New Mexico youth pastor friend. He asked a question that I can certainly relate with and a lot of pastors and leaders and maybe parents can relate with as well. Um, it's a challenge to have non-Christian friends and you see your own kind of hypocrisy if you're inviting kids to invite their non-Christian friends to church and to youth group, but you're realizing within my own circles, I don't have a lot of unchurched friends. There's ways that we can create those opportunities. and so. I hope through this blog, through this um, video blog, that I can give you a few um, suggestions. One is maybe maybe spend less time at your church doing your office hours and more time off-site, doing it at a coffee shop. That's what I did. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of the baristas and, and some of the regulars that come in there, and they've gotten to know me as, as a guy who's reading a, his Bible and studying for a, a preaching opportunity, whatever it may be. Uh, get involved with your own kids' lives by getting involved in the parents' lives of those kids. Uh, that could happen through coaching, relating to the parents there. Get your family involved. Maybe it's just bringing the orange wedges to the, to the halftime of the soccer game. Maybe you yourself want to join a rec league. A uh, pastor friend of mine, Jess, has gotten involved with a, a hockey league, playing hockey. Didn't tell anybody that he was a pastor, just joined up for this adult rec league, and it's totally given him opportunities with the unchurched. Another friend of mine, Jeremy, started a neighborhood watch program in his own neighborhood, going door to door and realizing so many people have um, teens and young kids, and he thought this would be a great way to get to know these neighbors and gave him an excuse to go uh, to each one of those doors and invited everybody over for an initial, initial meeting um, in their own living room, inviting people into their house, and they've gotten to know their neighborhood that way. Even in ministry, when you go to the campus to visit your high school or middle school students, don't make it your goal just to encourage the Christian kids there that are part of your youth group, but get to know the adults on that campus, the administrators and teachers and the other help. Hope that these ideas give you a spark and that you're able to increase your uh, relationships with the unchurched.